So guys, this is the Gao King 1000 GK 1000 GY Adventure motorcycle uh, from the Gao King brand, recently released in China. So we're gonna take a quick walk around. So it's got this nice windshield that is adjustable. I'll be showing you that in a minute. And when you come down here, you have LED lighting, which is really, really nice. And I like the beak, the design of the beak, some nice plastic. And if we go down here, it's got a mud guard as well. And it comes with the CST tires, very similar. It's kind of deceitful. It kind of looks like the Anarchy Adventure from Michelin, but it's not. And it comes with spoked wheels, just like that on the BMWs, double brake discs in front with AB ears. And comes with J1 uh, brake calipers all looking very solid metal and the advent the fork travel is quite relatively long so it's going to be good for for adventure let's take a look at the it's got a radiator very wide radiator stretching from one end to another to give you some nice cooling power and you got your nice thin tubes for the ab ears and the brake fluid all looking really nice some vents here for extra cooling I believe the turn signals are LEDs as well they're very smallish but they, they'll put up enough power and if we go on the side we have some nice crash guards as we usually call them and some very nice decals here I like how the decals look and if we look at the gear changing department you have your gear changing lever right here all feeling very solid with some rubberized foot pegs that I believe you can undo in order to have the teeth part of the peg for adventure riding and this is the build of the engine kind of brush finish um, not shiny uh, looking really really clean and it's one of the relatively new brands in China but technology is moving very fast there's a lot of technology sharing so it's you can't really write anything off now and then you have your foot pegs here very tactile feels very very solid and looking at the chain before the chain let's look at the frame so it comes with a very solid uh, swing arm and then a very nice thick sprocket and chain very nice feeling plastic covering the chain and they have this protection here for stopping debris from reaching the suspension which is the white one down there and you have your brake lights which kind of has this X sort of daytime running lights like so uh, integrated with the rear lights you get your turn signals and your number place number plate placement number plate lighting all looking really good so far and you've got a really beefy exhaust pipe here or a muffler uh, i'm sure it's going to put out some nice heavy sound with a wide opening very very solid looking and very solid plot um very solid pipe now if we look at the rear brakes we have a brake disc and then it comes with ABS as well with JG1 brake calipers. Pardon me if it's noisy, but yeah, and on the rear it comes with a 170 60 rim 17 tire on the rear. And let's just quickly take a look at the front tire. The front tire comes with radial tubular tires of 120 70 rim 19. So that is with the tire department so it comes with abs on the rear one disc brake on the j1 uh, brake caliper with spoked wheels as well very nice smooth wheels will be easy to wash with a brush and i like how this has been placed this inflator valve has been placed very it's angled out so you can easily um, inflate your tires without having to struggle unlike those that are usually placed in the middle and pointing straight 
this will be a lot easier to inflate and if you look on this side you have your rear brake fluid indicator or gauge you got your foot peg here got your brake caliper feeling very solid and it also has these uh, grips here to ensure proper gripping and then on the side you have the on the right side of the engine you can see it more clearly and better from here it's a 1000 cc engine so it's a, it's a bit thick so it's a V engine I believe a V twin you got one exhaust coming out from here and another one coming out of there so you got pistons here and pistons there looking really really nice and on this side you have another uh, crash guard here and very very nice decals on this bike so and let's take a look at here on the right side of the dash or the instrument cluster you have a 12 volt socket right here and on the other side if I just move here it has a USB type A and type C port here so that's the thing guys Chinese bikes will give you everything that you need without asking you to pay more for now let's look at the instrument cluster here or oh, before that let's start from the rear so this is the carrier and I was told that you can install obviously uh, panniers and side side bags or side boxes and this one alone there this one alone will carry 10 kilograms up to 10 kilograms most bikes do five kilograms but this one will do 10 kilograms that's really cool and then you have your seat the seat looks firm it feels firm but it's got some nice feel to it and the rider seat is narrows in the in the front and widens towards the back it's very comfortable as well and if I just sit on the bike and show you so when the bike is upright what I feel is like this bike when you sit on it, it kind of feels like this 700 800 GS BMW design is quite close so you can see you got your metal tank and you got your plastic protection and and design you got your fuel cap feeling very solid now let's go and look at some controls here so you have obviously your flasher pass high beam low beam and then you have your cruise control slash uh, button up and down buttons here and here you have information you have your turn signal indicator very tactile you have your horn and uh, your hazard and this bike being the high spec one comes with heated grips and heated grips and heated seats so that's really cool for those cold winter days and on the side we have the mode model mode button for choosing your right function you have your headlamp uh, button and you have your ignition on and off and you got some really nice angled some nicely angled rear view mirrors looks really really nice now if I just turn and you have the suspension it's not electronically adjusted but you can do so on both sides with a screwdriver so left turning it anti-clockwise or counterclockwise softens the suspension and clockwise hardens it now let's take a look at the screen so if we take a look at the screen it's booting up now Gao King and very very nice very clear very crisp screen up there and I'm just gonna go with the mode button so when I press the mode button you have it takes you to standard and you can use these buttons to navigate so I can go down to so sport rainy off-road okay so these are the these are the ABS on and off okay so if I go back to standard so yeah that is the uh, screen you also have tire pressure monitoring on this bike so that's really really nice sitting on it the seat feels kind of firm but it's not too bad for uh, long distances so 
and I was I promised I was going to tell you about the screen so if you want to do with the screen I'm not too sure about this choice of function but you pull these two tabs out like this and then you can raise or dec increase or decrease the screen and once you have the level you want you just push these tabs back like this so you can do it on the fly you have to stop and do it whilst you're moving so let's take a look at the clutch the clutch it's not as soft as that on the CB500X, but it's not hard either. It just has a really nice feel to it. And you get your front brake lever as well. Alright guys, so that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm truly grateful. If you really enjoyed this video, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel so we can grow this channel together. So I see you in the next video guys. Right legal, right safe, always peace and I'm out.